So yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. Once, once it, uh, so I, I, well, let's check after we get our star. Yes, yeah. When we get the star, then, then it's there. Okay, you made good progress on these research tasks, Sussy. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Silene. It's time you earn yourself a star. You get a star. I'm a star. Toadette's over there. Like, hey! <laughs> I'm the one who gives stars. Yeah. By the way, uh, check out. Uh, our second and possibly third season of uh, Mario Party Superstars or over, over on our uh, alternate mature channel, Late Game Night. Heck yeah, go check it uh, out. Season gentlemen. two is currently premiering right now. <laughs> and depending on when these episodes come out, it most likely will still be season two. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Why is she always so grumpy looking? She's just as grumpy as Cyrus. Yeah, I know. Why are they also just like pissy, man? Like, I don't know. There's like... Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Huzzah! I'm a star. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star in the, the Galaxy Expedition Team. Now, here's something. I wonder if you could then... Okay. So, I've been tempted to try that. Well, you wouldn't be able to do it, because you need to go between between areas. Uh, what's up? Well, I was just thinking, it's like, okay, what if you got so many points that you could get, like, three, four stars at a time? So, like, I'm at, I'm like at star. three or four stars? Mm-hmm. Right. No, I think uh, as a, you get each star, you get, like, a, uh, like a lot more uh, required research points. Mm-hmm. Like, your XP bar just gets, like, longer and longer. Oh, it does. But that's the thing. is like, what if you caught every Pokemon in that area, completed every single thing right off the bat before you even went back here? Could you get, like, two stars, like, consecutively? I think... Okay. As for, uh, if you could get it consecutively, I think you would just have to get one star at a time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then, like, uh, if you're... You get the star, then you check your Pokedex, and... Uh, Filled again, then mm -hmm. you just talk to Silene again, and huh. then you get your next door. I'm assuming. Interesting. Have these as I'm well. That up. There are further recipes you'll need for crafting. Obtain recipe for crafting heavy so balls. So I've got to say, so like um, and revives. So you know the channel Austin John plays. Yeah, that dude has been busy. Oh yeah. Like okay, his he, he, has his, has he been in the game already? Oh, pretty much. Like his content for Pokemon Legends Arceus. 100% perfect. Wow. Like, I have, like, since the game came out, as soon as it came out, he was playing it and putting out content with it, like, at a rapid pace. Wow. Like, I don't think he's slept since this game came out. <sighs> Just because it's so open world, you have to grind so much, you have to do so much, and then on top of that, he's making the videos and doing that. It's like, well done, bro. Like, yeah. that's that's huge. Like, I've been watching, like, all those, all of his tutorials on stuff. So, you know, shout out to Austin John Plays. Like, well done, sir. Yeah. That's freaking awesome. That a stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us like this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. Improving your worth by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you did fall from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. Higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. All right, and the work of research task is done, but it's not really done. For today, at least you've earned yourself a meal at a, the Wallflower and a good night's rest. Huzzah! Yes, uh, I want. I want to go to sleep. I want to take a nappy. Yeah. So, sussy, my girl. I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order! Well done on earning your first star rank! Our usual order of potato mochi tastes even better when there's something to celebrate. Hey, by the way, have you taken on that request Beauregard had? Uh... Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I still gotta give him a Wurmple. Well, most people here don't know much about Pokémon. You've noticed, right? So it's our job as the Survey Corps to take care of any issues that crop up because of that. We're basically Pokemon problem solvers. Indeed so! 
Some Pokemon will... Oh, pff, some Pokemon will ask you for help. Some people will ask you for help when you talk with them, while other requests will need to be claimed from the Blackboard I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, weren't you approached with a request recently, Ray? What's that all about? Uh, that one might be a better fit for Sussy than me. I don't think I'll be able to pull it off unless I get better at Pokemon battling first. Ah, oh, yes, the request came from Mai of the Diamond Clan, if I recall. The people of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Husui since before the Galaxy team arrived. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there is much we might learn from them, including more about the local Pokemon. Well, we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. Heck yeah. Just eat up, enjoy this, like, terrible, stale food. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, this cold, stale food, because we've been talking for so long. The next day... And the natural dialogue. Hey, Sussy, before I go meet uh, Mai about that request, mind showing me how you do in battle? Uh, of course. As soon as I change my Pokémon. Great, I'll be at the training grounds. If you've been catching lots of Pokémon, you can change up your team at the pastures, just so you know. That is good to know. How much have you switched up your Pokemon? Um... Like, I'd, I'd say somewhat often. Okay. Starter, I keep it there. Yes, I always keep my starter yep. Pokemon. Absolutely. Yep. I... Uh, change my Pokemon when needed. Okay. So... Um... Okay, I'll... Keep my Shinx there. Uh, I would like uh, a Ponita for sure. Okay. Um, don't need Weasel because uh, I've already got my water Pokemon. Uh, well, I guess I could go for uh, a Cascoon. Just to level that up. And for flying, I would like to have Drifloon that... Hmm. Okay, that only happens to know Confusion. Oh, that was a low-level Drifloon, but... Uh, I think I can manage. So the... Ooh, nope, wrong. Utan. Okay, so I'll just keep... I'll just have Oshawott, Shinx, and Bidoof be, uh, uh, the muscle for the time being. Until I can get, uh, the others to level up. Nice. Then... Yeah, I'll just have Bidoof out ready, because I'm assuming... Uh, I'm gonna be fighting, uh, Ray's Pikachu. Yes. Because, uh, my, uh... Alt my companion, or uh, also had Pikachu as well. Thanks for taking a minute for me. I know your plate's full right now. It's incredibly full. Get on with it. I'm going to be straightforward with you about something. Yes. I don't understand how anyone can handle taking a Pokemon in battle. I know I'm a Survey Corps member, and even I even got my own partner, but I just can't do it. Uh, your partner? That's right. Take a look at my very own partner. And it, this Pikachu doesn't say the typical mm -hmm. Pikachu voice anymore. Pika. It's it's a traditional one from the Game Boy. I like that. I it, like it, okay. it, that's I, actually good for a change. I like it when the Geodude does that too. The Geodude has the same thing, the same sound. From the game, like or whatever. I can't even like imitate it. It sounds like a freaking elephant, but it's yeah. awesome. Like back when um X and Y came out, if you encountered a Pikachu, like, the Pikachu could talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, just say, Pikachu, you know. Pika, Pika. But every Pokemon game since then, like, Pikachu has always said, like, uh, their name. Yeah. But then, uh, just hearing, like, their traditional sound effect is like, it's okay, like, that's a refresher. I'm happy with that. So, look, he looks so disappointed with his Pikachu. He's like, this is my Pikachu. <sighs> this is my Pikachu. Uh. During that Shinx attack, I should have had Pikachu fight at my side, but my mind just went blank. And and really, when you get right down to it, Pokemon are terrifying, right? Why should this thing be able to fire electricity? That's super meta, bud. <laughs> yeah. 
Bigger, bigger B. Bigger B. I'm a bigger too. Bigger two, you fiber smash. Bigger chew. Bigger B. Bigger, bigger B. <laughs> But watching you at work completing those research tasks convinced me. If I want to do my survey core work well, my partner and I have to have got to be a team. And our first step toward being a real team is to battle your team. Sorry, bud, you're just out of your league. Okay, the survey core Ray challenge you to battle. Nice. Okay, little be doof. Let's see. Okay, level nine. Ooh, thunder wave. That's uh, that's smart. Oh well. So glad that Beedoop's not a water type right oh, now. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, not a barrel yet. Bibberol. Bibberol. Uh, yeah, Bibberol. <laughs> I've got a, uh, my, uh... Whoa, you seem so in sync with your Pokemon. Super sync. Yeah, I only used Rollout twice. Oh, wow, look at that. Woo, okay. Well, that's a leveling up. Yeah, that'll look help. That. That, that's not, not bad at all. That was amazing. That was amazing. The way you fight alongside your Pokemon, you don't seem one bit scared of battling. I've been doing this for 20 years, bud. <laughs> we'll just have to catch up as best we can. Right, Pikachu? Uh, big, big, bigger. He's like, I'm not going to go back to my Pokeball. Ah, uh, <laughs> fair enough. Pikachu's got a bit of a tendency to attack, you see. That's why he normally stays in his ball. I guess the first step for Pikachu and me might be getting a little friendlier with one another. Oh, by the way, uh, the professor said Pokemon have these things called types? Which apparently make a big difference in how battles go? Pfft, way ahead of you. Way ahead of you, bud. Pikachu here seems to be an electric type, for example. Pika P. Alright, uh, both Pokemon moves over time. Yep, yep, know about this. Yep. Uh, so you're the one, the new recruit everyone's talking about. Like, for how sparsely populated this this area is with humans, everyone seems to know about you. Yeah. They're like, wait, you fell out of the sky? So you meet someone in the middle of the freaking wild. Oh, hey, you're that guy that fell out of the sky. You go to, like, a freaking island that's got yeah. a volcano on it. Oh, hey, you're the dude who falls out of the sky, right? Like, how did you hear about us? I fell out of the sky yesterday. Or yeah. three days ago or whatever it is. <laughs> the name, the name's Zisu, captain of the security corps. Steve Zisu. Have you seen Life Aquatic with Steve Zisu? Uh, no. It's a... Uh, oh, shoot, who's the director? It's got Bill Murray in it, but it's really... I'll, I'll pull it up. I'm sure you've seen it. I see you've got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Captain Zisu is a master of an ancient martial art where you guide Pokemon in battle. Now listen, if your Pokemon's truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. Uh, agile and strong. Wes style. Anderson, that's who directed it. On the one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in the strong style. The move will deal more damage, but afterward it'll take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash a move in the Agile style. Such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterward. In truly favorable conditions, it might even get out two moves before the opponent can act. Strong style moves, Agile style moves, and of course, regular moves. Choose which is right for a given situation and direct your Pokemon uh, with a little nudge. Okay, yep, I uh, already know about this as well. Oh, one more thing. If you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. I have never talked to her since uh, me on my personal playthrough. Me either. I'm just playing it natural. This is the only time you're going to visit with this lady, people. Enjoy it. Well, that's certainly handy to find out about what's... Uh, about before going to tackle my request. You remember? you? Uh, I mentioned it earlier. I'm heading down now to see about my my request. Set for a second time. I'm supposed to meet her down past the foot of Aspiration Hill. You should come along, too. Get ready, then meet us down there, would you? And by ready, I mean double checking what Pokemon you'll bring and maybe even teaching them some new moves from Zisu. I'll get right on that. Uh, I, I mean, I guess I may as well. Fuck. Uh, here are the training grounds where Pokemon can master their moves or learn new moves. Uh, I want new moves. 
Uh, Drifloon, maybe? Maybe. Oh! Okay, I have <laughs> I've never bothered to look at this. Oh, you've never, like, changed their move? It... No, it's like a... Oh, where you pay her to teach him? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like a move relearner kind of thing. I've never done it. I've never done this. I've just, like, changed their moves, like, with ones that they've learned naturally. Oh. But, like, I'm not paying for that. Okay, well... <laughs> like, that's we'll, what we're we'll, we'll, we'll remember this for later. Good luck putting that behind my paywall. So, this is... <laughs> if anything, I've been, like, putting my money into my pocket. Oh, yeah. Like, like you know... This is Life Aquatic uh, with uh, Steve Zissou. No. No? No. So, have you seen the Fantastic Mr. Fox? Yes. Okay. Long time so, ago. Same director. Okay. So... Uh, Wes Anderson, dude's a little bit crazy, but this this movie really really funny. It's got a uh, um, what's his name, Willem Dafoe, and Willem Dafoe's like he plays a German dude. Uh, Willem, Will Willem, oh, uh, Green Goblin. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. plays a, a a German dude, and like he got, I think if I remember right, he got the part as like kind of a like a last minute thing, mm -hmm. like. He was at dinner with a friend who was friends with Wes Anderson, and he's like, and he was telling him about the movie he's doing, and Willem Dafoe, I think, I think that's how it goes. I was watching a video. Wait, Willem was this Dafoe. how uh, Willem Dafoe got into Spider-Man? No, it's how he got the... Or, or in that oh, one. On that in that one. one. On uh, Life Aquatic. And he was like, that sounds like a freaking awesome movie. Tell, it's like something like, tell Wes Anderson, like, I will literally do any part. Whatever he wants me to do. So he plays like this German dude and he's like, he gets like offended and stuff. But uh -huh. I think it's really easy. It's really funny. Like, it's just really, really dry, dry humor. Like, I think, I think you'd like it. It's a good one. How would you define dry humor? Here you go. Why did the monkey fall out of the tree? Why? Because it was dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's, right. kind of, it's kind of dry. Like, like, like just kind of like. Like, yeah, we're waiting for a punchline and then you're like, oh. Yeah. Okay. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you really brought me one. You must be as good as the rumors say. I'd like to name this Wurmple right away. Now, I've been told a Wurmple will evolve into a Pokemon known as Beautifly, so I should give it a name with that in mind. <clears throat> ah, there's two alternate evolutions. Hmm, this is a tough decision. Which of these do you like best? Uh, Beauticia? Beautifred? Or Bugene? I did Bugene. <laughs> yeah, let's do Bugene. <laughs> Yeah, I like Eugene too. I guess that's decided then. Eugene the beauty fly. <laughs> I'll raise Eugene to be a splendid furious beauty fly. Wait and see. <laughs> Not good for you, buddy. Enjoy your freaking uh, bug type Pokemon. All right, I'm gonna. Let's see. I'm gonna buy me some pockets really quick. I don't think you can yet. No. I don't. Uh, maybe not. Maybe talk to him. Ask him. It's, it's this dude. Yeah, I think. Oh, maybe yeah. not yet. Yeah, okay. you gotta wait like a, a few. Uh, do Do I have to uh, defeat Cleavor first? Maybe. But if I was you, I'd put the items you're not gonna use in the chest there to your left. Okay. Well, potions, obviously. Uh, grit dust, not really. Always save the iron chunks because those craft like really good balls. Oh, like put them in the iron box here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That, that way you hold on to them. Uh, Stardust. I don't need money right now. Uh, bug yeah. port. I don't think. Definitely this, I think, to make revives. Okay, that should be good. Sweet. All right. Let's go to the obsidian field, man. Yeah. Woo. But I'm gonna, gonna catch more Pokemon's. Heck yeah. Yeah. Dude, this is such a fun game, man. Like I'm, I, I'm absolutely loving it. Me too. Like this is the first time I've felt so happy playing a Pokemon ah. game in years. Boo. Me too. Did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to anyway. I haven't had this much fun with a Pokemon game since uh, Sword and Shield came out, and I was just playing in the uh, Wildlands or the the uh, the wild, I guess, the wild area. I don't think I've had as much fun with the Pokemon game since possibly X and Y. 
Because then, like, after X and Y, there was, like, uh, Alpha Ruby and, no, Alpha, Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby. It's like, okay, right. it's, that's fun. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. And then there was uh, Sun Moon. Okay, yeah, so mm-hmm. not exactly any gym leaders, mm-hmm. but it's still kind of fun its way. Mm-hmm. And then Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Wait, didn't I just play this game, yep. like, a year ago? Yep. But then there's, like, more crap to do. Mm-hmm. So I was like, ah, I've kind of lost it. And then Sword and Shield is like, okay, cool. Yeah, it's for the Switch. It's on the Switch. Mm-hmm. Um, was kind of hoping for, like, a more open world type of thing. Mm-hmm. But right. that's just, like, the wild area. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, there was... Uh, oh, the Pokemon Let's Go. So, nice to play Pokemon Yellow, mm-hmm. but yeah. not... Terribly excited for the Pokemon Go features, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, and then uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, uh, definitely refreshing to play yes. a traditional Pokemon mm-hmm. game. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, but I think before X and Y, I think I really got a kick out of um, uh, Pokemon Sapphire and Emerald. Yep. And, uh, yeah, Pokemon, Pokemon Diamond. I think Generations mm-hmm. 3 and 4 were like... Uh, my personal favorite. Yeah. See, like I said, this one this one took number two for me. Yeah. First, uh, silver and, silver and gold, like silver specifically. Yeah. That one that was my thing, and then of of course the remakes. So you know, uh, 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 heart gold, and heart gold soul, soul silver. Yep. Still freaking awesome games. Yeah, but they, they never re- but they never remade crystal though. If they remade those on the Switch, shut up and take our money immediately. Like this one, I waited till like a week before it came out before I put like before I like pre ordered it. Right. Those ones. I would pre-order it day of. Like, I would sell a kidney to play those games. Yeah. Oh, which reminds me. Uh, Kidneys? It's kid- <laughs> okay, actually, no, really quick. I'm, I'm going to read this dialogue. Okay, yeah, yeah. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. Not. You hit it with a Pokeball enough times, it'll go it, inside. <laughs> it's what I call the secret backstrike technique. Yeah, way ahead of you. Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, make it easier to catch or giving you an advantage once the battle starts. Yeah, I know. You already told me this in another life, a.k.a. on my personal playthrough. If you're part of the Survey Corps now, working to create that Pokedex, as they all are, you might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisui. You should know I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. Okay, what what was, what was this dude's side quest? Oh, you're the girl from the Survey Corps who fell from the sky, aren't you? Listen here a moment. I need to tell you about this great cake lore recipe I invented. I call it the mushroom cake. I pour 20 years of mushroom foraging know-how into coming up with this recipe, and I know it's a winner. Problem is, the folks around here just aren't catching onto my recipe's amazing potential, but you're the talk of the village. If people see you making my mushroom cakes, famous you are, I'm sure they'll want to give it a go too. I'll teach you the recipe. All you have to do in return is spread the good word by using it. Oh, and you'll need to go get the key ingredient for the recipe yourself. Scrunge not from the forages of thy fellows, as the old saying goes. One springy mushroom's all you need. I'll be waiting. Okay. Cool. Um, who are you? You never know what kinds of Pokemon you'll run into, so I'll bring different kinds of Pokemon along. Our team member station at the base camp will help you swap Pokemon you're carrying. Okay, yeah, cool. Um, sorry, what moves does Drifloon... No. Confusion? Okay, so it knows. Okay, so it doesn't know a single ghost type move yet, which is fine. Uh, because, you know, ghost types won't hit normal types. Word. Um, so, I found out today, I don't know about you, but I found out today that there is going to be a Nintendo Direct tomorrow. I know, I saw that. It's like, what the heck? What are they going to announce? Like, it's got to be Breath of the Wild too, dude. It's gotta be Breath of the Wild too. Like, there's no other. What, what oh, else have they got? Oh, he did run away. I have no idea what's happened. I think that Badoof ran away. Cowardly Badoof. That was a cowardly moment. And I thought Badoof was the ultimate god. I thought it was. It's not. It's Drift Blue. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you trying to catch it or are you trying to battle it? You battle it via backstrike. Nice. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, I wasn't. Well, I didn't catch it. I wasn't directly in the back. Dang it. Um, we have noses. Uh, okay, so here's here's what I think. We'll see. Okay. In the Nintendo Direct tomorrow. I swear, if it's more freaking uh, Fire Emblem crap, 
I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be very upset. I I think we're okay. Well, now that be doof ran away. Well, at least I'm fulfilling tasks with uh, the move set. Yes. For a yes. Loon. But that is that is my my only thing is like you know what? Why? Oh why? But I don't know. Like I said, that's my only uh, my only complaint is if it's gonna be like a game that like. I don't know. I want it to be Breath of the Wild too, so bad. I want it to be Breath of the Wild, or announcing the next Pokemon project uh, after this one. Uh, like, what's what's next? Or even I'm okay with DLC with this one. I, that, that's fine. Like, charge me extra. <laughs> you know, like take my money. I I don't, I don't think there's gonna be a new Fire Emblem game anytime soon. Thank goodness. Uh, okay. Most obvious. Okay. Uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Okay. Since that's uh, coming out in about a month. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. What else? Uh, there. We already, you know, since uh, last September, we got like a, you know, a new trailer for Bayonetta 3. Uh -huh. So maybe there'll be a new teaser. I don't know. Um, ooh. Who's there? Who's that Pokemon? Uh, I got my money on. It's Starly. Clefairy! Ah! ah! It's Starly. Call it. Uh, oh, yeah, it is Starly. I don't know why I didn't bother to uh, lock on to it to find out. Um, okay, so Kirby, a new Kirby game. Uh huh. Um, this ran away. What? But why? Why? Alright. Okay, fine. If you want to find me, duke it out. Okay. Uh, so you're I'm, 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 I'm getting distracted. So you're thinking you think Bayonetta, uh, okay. Kirby. Uh, um, there's rumors of uh, Mario Kart 9. That'd be fun. But that's like not like. But that's something that you squeak in into a Nintendo Direct. But it can't be the entire Nintendo Direct. Like, okay, when there's been eight okay, previous Mario okay, that, Karts, it's not, like, groundbreaking, okay? Like, it's it's ridiculous. It's, it's, well, okay, well, it's just the thing is, like, at this point, it's safe to assume that, like, uh, there's not going to be an announcement, a surprise announcement for Smash Ultimate, because that's finished. Yeah. What if they unveil a new uh, console? Uh, no, I, I'd say that's, like, E3 material. You think? Yeah. You think? Yeah. You think? I mean... I know that, like, you know, PlayStation, like, revealed their PS5, like, in September. Yeah. And, uh, well, no, maybe they did announce it in E3, <laughs> but then they showed <laughs> off, like, uh, more games for it. Yeah, yeah. Later you, that year. You are to do a Nintendo Direct saying, hey, you know, there's a global chip shortage, so we're not making games for a while. It's all going to be, uh, we're going to stop doing uh, uh, manufacturing uh, physical copies of the game. Oh, no. Like, I mean, as long as they're available uh, digitally, yeah, you what can if still they, get the games. Because, so, like, I know that uh, PlayStation and Xbox are leaning that way. Like, that's the next uh, the next thing uh, that's happening, right? No physical copies of games. I mean, Nintendo or... Sony, well, I mean, it's, it'd like, be nice to have physical copies. Oh, it is. It is. And, like, I love having a drive. That's why I bought the Xbox Series X instead of buying the, the Series S. So, like, because I wanted a disk drive. Mm. But, honestly, it's because we use that as a family's entertainment system, and so if we have a DVD... Yeah, or, or yeah, a Blu-ray. Yeah, or a Blu-ray, want to play it. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. I can't let you pass unless you're a first... Oh, at your rank, you should be fine.